praise the Lord and blessed be the name of the Lord God Most High, the King of all kings and the Lord of lords, the God who is and was and is to come. Hallelujah, precious saints of the living God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the great I am, the I am that I am. The God of all flesh, our sovereign everlasting God, who changeth not. Hallelujah. May the power of the Holy Spirit bless you all this morning, people of God. This is Pastor Samuel from House of Prayer for All Nations Ministries in Boramwood, Hertfordshire, United Kingdom, England. I trust the Almighty God that as He has given us the gift of life and the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, he will also give us a word this morning and a word that will elevate us, a word that will transform our lives, a word that will bring healing, deliverance, salvation and exaltation in our lives in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you and I this morning that as the word of God comes, God will bless us immensely through the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. In Jesus mighty name. Praise be to God forevermore. Full of God, I thank God that as he has given us life and we partake of life and godliness, he will also bless us immensely through his word. And by the grace of God, I'll continue the message on the subject which I began this week called the Holy Spirit. Who is the Holy Spirit? And also uh, the season that we are shifted in we have shifted into the season of the Pentecost, the visitation of the Holy Spirit coming upon the Church of God and upon believers. And as we have entered into this season of the Pentecost, I believe and trust the Almighty God that there, there, there is a release of an outpouring of the Spirit of God that is coming upon us as believers and upon the Church of the Living God. And I believe that by us connecting spiritually into this season there will be an outpouring and an immense grace through the holy spirit that will come upon us and so i continue the message on the power of the holy spirit who the holy spirit is and what the holy spirit does for us as believers hallelujah and today i have titled uh, the, the exhortation message the Holy Spirit is our helper the Holy Spirit is our helper and I trust God that God by his Holy Spirit will uh, speak to us and his word will bless us immensely hallelujah also I, I announced once again that on the 26th of June we are starting our church services at the Aberford Community Center Aberford Hall Aberford Road, Borumwood, Hertfordshire, Postcode WD6, 1pm. And our meeting starts from 4pm to 6pm on Sundays and on Fridays the 7.30pm uh, to the 9.30pm prayer meetings and prophetic deliverance services as well. So I want you to uh, share our announcement to as many people that you can uh, and uh, remind them that we are starting our our services from the 6th of June. Hallelujah. And I trust God that as we all get back into the house of God, uh, the power of God will be released upon our lives once again in the name of Jesus. Also, tonight we start our Pentecostal Fire Revival uh, from today at 7 p.m. Uh, on live streaming, uh, virtual streaming on YouTube and on Facebook. And I look forward to connecting with you all. So share the messages that uh, to uh, family, friends, and loved ones to join us tonight, 7 p.m., uh, for our Pentecostal Fire Revival. Hallelujah. It starts from today and ends on Sunday. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you all. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, bless your word this morning. Let your word bring uh, light and illumination into our life. Let your word cause us to be lifted in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. We are speaking, I'm speaking on the subject that holy spirit is our helper and we can find that in the book of john chapter 26 john chapter 14 the verse number 26 to the verse number 27 hallelujah let's hear the word of the living god but the comforter which is the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name 
shall come shall come and teach you and will teach you all things to your remembrance whatsoever i have said unto you peace i leave with you my peace i give unto you not as the world giveth give i unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid hallelujah let me read it again but the comforter which is the holy ghost whom the father will send in my name he shall teach you all things and bring all things to you to your remembrance whatsoever i have said unto you peace i leave with you my peace i give unto you not as the world give it give i unto you let not your hearts be troubled neither let it be afraid hallelujah may the lord god bless the reading of his word people of god this is the word of the lord for us the holy spirit is our helper so jesus was speaking to the disciples in in their days and the holy spirit is also speaking to us now because the word of god is a now word it is a written word it is a spoken word and it's also a, a word of rema this morning receive the word of rema Ah, by the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus said, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, shall teach you all things. So, the Holy Spirit is our teacher. The Holy Spirit is our helper. The word Comforter there, as he said, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, it means that the Holy Spirit is the Comforter. And what is the Comforter? The Comforter is synonymous to helper. The Holy Spirit is our helper. It, he is our present help in the time of trouble. The Holy Spirit is the one that helps us. The Holy Spirit is God, our helper. I pray for you and I this morning, beloved, wherever you are, listening to the sound of my voice. May the Holy Spirit help you in every situation that you are going through this morning. May the Holy Spirit be your helper. For David said in the book of Psalm 121, verse 1 and 2, he said, For I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. So David also acknowledged that God is our helper. The Holy Spirit. God, the Holy Spirit is our helper. That is why he said, my help cometh from above. That means that help does not come from anywhere. Help only comes from the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is God in heaven. And the Holy Spirit is also God in the flesh. The Holy Spirit is also God in the spirit hallelujah and i pray for you this morning receive the help of the holy spirit receive the help of the holy spirit receive help from above in your health receive help from above in your career receive help from above in your business receive help from above in your finances receive help from above in the work of your hands receive help from above in your education receive help from above in your dreams your aspirations your desires the, everything that concerns your life that pertains to life and godliness receive help from above this month of grace uh, may the grace of god come from the holy spirit uh, may the help that you need come from the holy spirit may the holy spirit release uh, every help that you need in your life in the name of jesus uh, in the name of jesus help is coming from above help is coming to you wherever you find yourself in this month uh, God is going to help you through the power of his spirit uh, in the name of Jesus. So Jesus said, he said, which is the Holy Ghost that the Father will send in my name. So God himself has sent the Holy Spirit which is on earth right now. And it, it, is, it is filling us and it is going to help us. We as believers, our help is connected to the source of the Holy Spirit. And I pray for you this morning that may you connect yourself deeper and have a deeper intimacy with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will give you uh, all the help that you need in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, he said, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance that whatsoever I have sent, said unto you. You see, so not only the Holy Spirit helps us, but the Holy Spirit also has a place of remembering us in with all the things uh, that pertains to our lives and the things that God has said concerning his word, the promises of God over 
our lives and the prophetic word that we have received from God. He will bring all things to us in remembrance. I pray for you uh, that wherever you are this morning, whatever that is connected to be a blessing to you, that the enemy is attacking, the Holy Spirit will release the blessing into your hands in the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, wherever you are, I pray that all things that you have forgotten based on the attack and all the atrocities of the enemy that is connected to your exams god will bring you through the power of the holy spirit to the place of remembrance of all the things that you have studied i pray right now for uh, uh, students wherever they are, they are i pray for them that that they will pass their exams the holy spirit will remember ah, them with all the things that they have learned may the holy spirit become their remembrance god that will remember them in everything that they have studied in the name of jesus and the bible says in the verse 27 he said peace i live with you my peace i give unto you not as the world giveth." so the holy spirit also gives us peace the holy spirit gives us peace the peace that is not of this world but the peace that comes from god may the peace of god that passeth all understanding may it be released into your life right now in the name of jesus receive the peace of god now in the name of jesus hallelujah beloved the lord bless you and may this word empower you and lift you up and bring you to your place of victory in jesus name amen beloved share this word that this word will be a blessing and a spiritual impartation to as many people that receive it in jesus mighty name amen father thank you for your word this morning once again we thank you that by revelation knowledge your holy spirit is our helper we pray that in this week in this month and in this year let your holy spirit help us with all the things that we are believing and trusting you for for the bible says that whosoever whosoever accept anything in my name that the father may be glorified in my in, in my name i will do it father grant your people their heart desire and let the holy spirit release all the things that they need the help that they need from you father grant them the help comfort them heal them deliver them set them free and let them come to the place of victory in jesus mighty name amen and amen beloved the lord bless you May you come to this place of understanding and revelation knowledge in Christ Jesus that the Holy Spirit is our helper and help cometh only from the Holy Spirit in Jesus mighty name. Receive help from above in every area of your life in Jesus mighty name. Shalom, peace from above. Hallelujah.